Electrolytic Decomposition Reaction Electrolysis Take a plastic mug. Drill two holes at its base and fit rubber stoppers in these holes. Insert carbon electrodes in these rubber stoppers. Connect these electrodes to a 6 volt battery. Fill the mug with water such that the electrodes are immersed. Add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to make water a good conductor of electricity. Place two test tubes filled with water and invert them over the two carbon electrodes as shown here. This whole arrangement is called a voltameter, an apparatus for carrying out the electrolysis. Switch on the current and leave the apparatus undisturbed for some time. It is observed that bubbles of gases start rising from both the electrodes and the levels of water in the two tubes start falling. Allow it to run till sufficient amount of gases have been collected in the two test tubes. Now, switch off the battery. Caution! The following steps must be performed carefully by the teacher. Once the test tubes are filled with the respective gases, remove them carefully. Test these gases one by one by bringing a burning wooden splint close to the mouth of the test tubes. What happens in each case? Let's consider the test tube covering the cathode as test tube 1 and one which is covering the anode as test tube 2. Let's perform the burning splint test on both the test tubes one by one. Case 1. When we tried to enter the burning splint inside the test tube 1, the splint will ignite the pop sound when placed near a test tube. This shows the test tube contains hydrogen gas. Case 2. When we tried to enter the burning splint inside the test tube 2, the burning splint reignite. It shows the presence of oxygen gas in the test tube 2. The given experiment shows that on supplying electrical energy, water decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen according to the reaction.